Now, you just heard from a woman who was told that she was too old to make a difference. That's why I always say age is not a factor when making a difference. My win is now. I'm 14 years old, and you may think that's a little young, right? Right? <laughs> when I was even younger at the age of five, that's when my family and I moved to Cedar Hill, Texas. Now, my parents, they stressed the importance of knowing how to read because my great-grandfather had to drop out in the third grade to provide for his family, so he never got a chance to do so. That's why my parents always took us to our local library, Zula B. Wiley Library. Now, even though I was young, I knew something wasn't right. I mean, the library itself, it was a little bit bigger than this room you're sitting in now. The children's area was even smaller. There was four small shelves with some outdated books. The children's play area, it was about the width of from this stage to the front row. That's not a lot of space. But half of it was taken up by a huge kitchen playset where most of the toys were broken. I have three siblings, so that's all four of us, whatever kids decided to come to, come to the library that day. All of us in that small little area. And I knew it wasn't right. So I filled up notebooks with ideas and creativity because I knew something had to be done. When I was eight, I had the opportunity to be on a kid science advisor call with the White House. I was on the call, and it was with Chief of Science, John Holdren, and he was the Chief of Science for the Obama administration. That was a pretty big deal, and it encouraged me to do more in my community. So I decided to write our former mayor, who of course was the mayor at the time, Mayor Rob Frankie, and I told him about my ideas for some new additions to the library. He told me that my letter encouraged him to want to put a new library bond on the ballot. And I took this as an opportunity to finally do more in my community. So I got my siblings, my family involved, I got my Girl Scout troop involved, and we went to polls out in the community to spread awareness. I also went on my mom's social media, thank you mommy, <laughs> and I posted different little videos encouraging adults in my community to vote. Um, Senator Royce West, he came to my school for an award show, and us together, we talked to whoever was at the award show that day, and we told them about the library bond. The bond ended up passing. It was a $20 million bond. And you know, little eight-year-old me, that was some big money. <laughs> I was chosen to be the youngest member on the library site and planning committee. I took my position very seriously. I spoke up in meetings. I used my voice. I picked out little things from the material on the walls to the carpet that was going to be in the library. I had a say in what was going on. It's actually a running joke in the community that I'll be able to drive to the library myself because the new Traffin Hickman Library will be opened in 2024. Now, as teens in today's society and youth overall, we see many things that are in need of change, but we often don't see anything being done about them, and we wonder why. Now, as you all know, the biggest resource in today's age is social media. That's what a lot of people use to spread awareness. But here's the thing, once we are aware, we actually have to do something about it. Now, even though I'm here speaking on behalf and to today's youth, I also wanna to speak to our adults. Without you, we can't get anything done. I want to um, tell you something. Moving forward, with your children or anybody of youth that comes to you with a crazy idea, don't just brush them aside. Actually communicate with them and cultivate their ideas. Be open to input from all of us. What we have to say matters. If my community didn't want to hear what me and the other youth in the community had to say, even though they already had a plan, they still wanted to hear what we had to say so it could be for everybody. Another thing I want to say is collaborate with other adults in the community. And please, please vote. Use your voice. Matter of fact, turn to your neighbor. <laughs> and say, neighbor. neighbor. Vote, baby, vote. Mm -hmm. Now, before we leave, I want to leave you with four points. When I say the point, you repeat after me. Okay? The first point, communicate. communicate. Cultivate. Cultivate. Collaborate. Collaborate. And, celebrate. and celebrate. One more time. Communicate. communicate. Cultivate. Cultivate. Collaborate. Collaborate. And, celebrate. and celebrate. Ignite your right to use your voice, no matter how young or old. Thank you. <laughs>